it's Martin here from fengineer.com. Um, this is one of the videos from my uh, Teespring Gem series, which is just going to cover a little, little short two-minute clips of um, some tips, Teespring-based tips that I use in my campaigns. So here's one. Um, f I'm going to be covering the concept of layering. Uh, I've done it a couple of times before in posts and other videos, but in this campaign of mine, you can see pretty clearly how I've actually incorporated that. Um, the average person starting off Teespring would probably take, um, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as an interest and try and sell this shirt without this 1991 kid text to people, uh, fans of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What I've done is gone one layer deep and added, the interest is added, um, obviously for people that like the series, but I've also added um, people that are born in a specific year. So as you can see, I've gone one layer deep and I've added the age layer. So now it appeals to people that like the series, but it also kind of gives people that no nostalgia effect of being um, uh, born in that kind of era where this was big, this cartoon was big. So I've done it for about 20 years that um, I think most of the sales were made for uh, these years over here, that's when it was peaking, but um, just the concept of adding, adding the age, the age layer to any interest, and I've done that quite a few times before in other campaigns, and it works pretty good. So, um, y this is kind of a, an evergreen type of, uh, not evergreen, I can't say evergreen, but it's pretty, I don't think it's explored as much as it should be. Um, interest plus age so try that in your campaigns that that one layer deep does um, good sells good amount of t-shirts if you can get the year right anyway that's it for this video bye